Okay, so today we're going to try to um, do some experiments with shielded uh, energy from cyclotronic generators. And, uh, okay, well, just got to charge up the rotor. Okay, so we have our psychotronic generator in the cup here. And I have it highly charged up with the energy from my hands. And then I've, uh, of course, the energy can penetrate through the uh, shielded glass. And I've been trying to uh, test to see if, uh, if I take my artificial psychotronic generator and uh, see if I can use that to influence the energy through the glass. Okay, so it's a shielded glass and I have the generator on the outside here and it seems to be disturbing the psychotronic energy in the glass and it penetrates right through the glass to affect the rotor. See, yeah, it's making the rotor spin when I'm bringing this uh, artificial psychotronic generator close to it. So it does seem to be producing some kind of energy that is able to penetrate through the glass, similar to the life energy. I'm not sure if it's the same type of energy. I, I do believe it's different in a lot of ways, but uh, this energy seems to have different types of flavors or something, different different type of uh, ghost particles in the netherworld. And anyway, very interesting. So we're making good progress here with our uh, psychotronic research. It would be great to be able to create a generator that can generate this artificial life energy. Anyway, this is uh, Dr. James and thanks for watching.